What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And I'm just checking in on you. Today's video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for Tuesday, June 29th. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. But we are starting off at the base of ops in Washington, D.C. Let's all right, so your first vendor right here at the base. Let's see. What can I help you find? Starting off with the test subject. This is the named PDR with perfectly in sync. Also comes with stability. Then we have a Banshee SMG with reload speed and preservation. A CTAR with crit chance and strained. And then a Magnum with damage to armor and close and personal. Down to the gear items. We have a Providence Defense Backpack with Max Weapon Damage, uh, Crit Damage, Skill Haste, and then Galvanize. Um, okay. Then we have a Fenris Chess Piece. Wow. Um, so this is going to be your first must buy of the week. This is a Fenris Chess Piece with not only Crit Chance, but Crit Damage and Spotter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick one up to uh, match it up with my other ones. But that is definitely a must buy of the week. You can just stack up all the crit. Make sure you have, you know, an M4 or something like that. That way you can put the uh, linked laser pointer on so you can pulse the enemy and you're good to go. You get all that amplified damage with spotter. And then finish off with the mods. Crit damage 10.1. Drone plus two extra bombs. Turret plus one extra sniper ammo and sticky bomb damage 6.3 so for your first vendor what are the must buys it's gonna be this chess piece right here Fenris with spotter crit chance and crit damage All right. next up is gonna be our clan vendor oh and don't forget right now you have another manhunt going on and it gives you two times the XP for the first 15 levels so right now if you want to grind a quick 15 levels you can get that twice as fast with the two times multiplier we hunt so just so you know all right now clan vendor let's get it Good to see you, agent. hey we have a pair of contractors gloves this is always going to be a must buy in my book. It doesn't matter how many come by. Uh, the contractor's gloves are still best in slot. They are the best type of gloves you can run because they come with that damage to armor. That is multiplicative damage. So all you need to do here is either... Um, what I would do personally is I would reroll the crit damage. That way you can go back and reroll whatever attribute you want and then optimize that weapon damage to the max of 15%. Um, yeah, and you're good to go. Then you can make them God rolled contractor gloves for any occasion. Next up, we have Aces and Eights back, uh, chess piece, sorry, with explosive resistance. Eclipse protocol, pretty high hazard protection. And then a Aces and Eights backpack with crit damage. Go to the high end items, FAL, with sadist and mag size we have a pdr with reload speed and ranger spas 12 with crit damage vindictive hana you backpack with bloodsucker explosive resistance and status effects military m9 with mag size and in sync empress international knee pads with repair skills and explosive resistance and then finally, Murakami Industries knee pads with max skill haste. That's pretty good. And status effects. What I would do with these knee pads right here, keep this. Uh, Reroll the status effects off for repair skills. And you're good to go. Great for a healer build. And then finish off with the mods. We have a 17.6% repair skills. Protection from elites at 11%, which is pretty rare. Those are hard to come by. Headshot damage, 7.6. And then scan range, 8.4 for the drone. 
All right, so must buys from the clan vendor. Contractor gloves are always going to be must buys in my book. So boom, contractor's gloves must buy. Now this Eclipse protocol uh, set of knee pads with hazard is per hazard builds. All you have to do is run three of them and you get 30%. And not only that, but if you have your watch leveled up and you run hazard on all three of those pieces, you are already at 70% hazard just from running three pieces of Eclipse Protocol. A lot of people sleep on it because you can't run multiple attributes, but if it's going up against you know hazard builds, three pieces of gear that give you 70% hazard is a pretty big deal, just saying. And then go down to the high-end items. This FAL with Sadist actually isn't bad. I would do is I would re-roll the mag size for damage to targets out of cover or damage to armor, whichever one you want. And then finally, the Murakami knee pads is another great must-buy because you can roll off the status effects for repair skills, and then all of a sudden you can get your skills back really quick, and you're healing everybody. Thanks for doing business. All right, so that is the clan vendor. Now we're going to go west and then make our way back east, starting off with the campus settlement. Come on, load times. There we go. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on. Hey, now I can run. All right, so let's make our way to the campus vendor and see what she has. All right, here we go. Starting off with the Quiet Roar. This is the named, I think it's the Stoner LMG with Rate of Fire and Perfect Overwhelm. Um, I'm never gonna use this weapon ever in my life, so yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway, Surplus SVD with Health Damage and Optimist. Then we have a L86 LSW with Spike and Crit Chance. Going to the gear items, we have a Badger Tough Mask with Hazard Protection and Headshot Damage. And then a Giligard Holster with Weapon Handling and Crit Chance. Finish off with the mods. Skill Haste, 10.1. We have a Chem Launcher Duration, 4.3. Hive Stem Efficiency, 8.2. Pulse Cone Size, 6.2. And then a trap duration of 4.3. So at the campus settlement, what are the most? Ah, there aren't any. Moving on. Let's do a uh, DZ West. Ho West. Come on with it. Maybe the DZ vendors have something. We'll see. Got a couple, some goodies at the clan vendor, but I don't know. That spotter chest piece, key. That, that was a good one. All right, DZ West, what you got? Anything you're looking for? Everlasting Gaze. This is the named rifle with perpetuation. Now this one comes with max crit damage and also headshot damage. Not bad for a rifle. Tactical SASG-12 with crit chance and optimist. We have a SIG-716 with perpetuation and rate of fire. Rigor Gloves with stats. Going directive knee pads with headshot damage. Araldi gloves with ants and explosive resistance. Giligard knee pads with skill damage and explosive resistance. And then the mods. We have ensnare resistance 8.5. Seeker mine skill haste 4.7. Shield health 4.3. Firefly damage 5.7. And then finally, decoy health of 6.0. The West, do we have any must buys? Uh, let's see. Do we have any must buys for DZ West? I'm gonna say no. All right, let's move down to DZ South. Uh, there we go. I think it takes me longer to scroll down to DZ South than it does to actually load when fast traveling. That's pretty funny. Look at that, the load times, man. All right, DZ South, here we go. Come on, big money, big money, big money. All right, starting off with the Grudge. This is the named Banshee SMG with Perfect Vindictive. This one comes with Reload Speed. Next up, we have the Enhanced Aug, Future Perfect, and Reload Speed. 
Then we have a SOCOM Mark 16 with stability and future perfect. All of these have future perfect. What? And then a pistol with future perfect and crit chance. All right, go down to the gear items. Eclipse Protocol Backpack with skill damage. That's not bad. Remember that the Eclipse Protocol Backpack gives you 30% amplified damage to all enemies that are affected by a status effect. So, run this with... This. Make sure you get the enemy on a status and you are good to go with all that amplified damage. Next up, Tip of the Spear Chest Piece with Skill Haste. Sokolov Concern Backpack with Armor Regen, Skill Haste, and Leadership. And then a 511 Chest Piece with Armor Regen, Skill Damage, and Unbreakable. Finish off with the Mods. Crit Damage, 9.9. .9. Drone Scan Range, 7.9. Turret Skill Haste, 5.9. And then Sticky Bomb Skill Haste of 4.2. So DZ South, any must-buys. Let's see. Now the Eclipse Protocol backpack is always a good buy because it's a great backpack to run. Um, but this 511 chest piece, the 511 chest piece is actually uh, not bad. It comes with armor region and unbreakable. So what I would do with this chest piece is re-roll the skill damage off for hazard and then just optimize it fully. Um, that would be a pretty good build to run. You would have armor regen, hazard, and unbreakable. Sounds like a pretty good way to go. Alright, and that is DZ South. Let's go to DZ East. Now remember, don't fast travel trends. Fast travel to the Alpha checkpoint. When you do that, all you have to do is walk outside the door, and then the vendor is right there. It kind of you know saves you from having to run all the way through. You know, that little spot. Alright, here we go. Outside the checkpoint. And boom. Alright, so DZ East. Hopefully uh, she has some goodies. Let's see. DZ East. We have the Carnage. This is the named Negev LMG with Perfect Sadist. Now this one's pretty cool. It comes with near maxed out optimal range. That's pretty dope on a, a, a LMG, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I'd probably pass. M700 Carbon with Optimal Range again and Sadist. What's up with the... It's like they're they're matching attributes and talents on multiple gears per vendor. I, I don't know why. Alright, then we have a Tactical M249 Para with Reload Speed and Ignited. Go down to the gear items. Ongoing Directive Mask with Skill Damage. Future Initiative Holster with Repair Skills. Petrov Mask with Repair Skills and Weapon Handling. And then finally, a Y'all Holster with Repair Skill Crit Chance. Um, okay, so Repair Skills, Repair Skills, Repair Skills, Skill Damage. Finish off with the Mods. Skill Haste, 10.2. We have a Chem Launcher plus one ammo. Uh, Hive Health, 7.4. Pulse effect duration, 8.5, and then a trap duration of 4.3. So for DZ East, any must-buys? Let's see. Must-buys for DZ East. Um, the only thing worth looking at would be the Future Initiative holster. And that's only if you don't already have one. And this one comes with rep repair skills, so you could re-roll the skill tier off for armor, damage, whatever you want. Um... But yeah, not really a must-buy. But it's the best out of that vendor. Let's uh go to the theater, and then we are done in Washington, D.C. Let's see. Come on, buddy. The dude at the theater usually has something worth it, right? I think so. All right, let's see. Theater settlement. Here we go. He has the firm handshake. This is the name to Sokolov Concern Gloves with status effects. Perfect for all those status effects. You can use this with Trauma, Ridgeway's Pride, Eclipse Protocol, it doesn't matter. I mean, ongoing directive, uh, anything with a good status effect uh, with it, these firm handshakes are good to go. Um, next up, Spaz 12, Headshot Damage and Pummel. 
Then we have an M16A2 with steady handed and accuracy. Alps gloves with skill damage and crit damage. And then overlord armament knee pads with skill haste and headshot damage. Finish off with the mods. Bleed resistance 8.2. Seeker mine plus one cluster. Shield holstered regeneration 4.1. Firefly plus one max target, and then decoy duration 6.0. Any must buys from the theater settlement? Uh, I mean, not really. E even the firm handshakes with headshot damage, it's not my cup of tea. All right, now we are done in Washington, DC. Let's make our way to New York City. All right. Hopefully, uh, what is it, Marco and Roy Benitez. Hopefully they give us something good. It's seeming all the best things were in the first couple vendors. All right, here we go, Marco. Hook a brother up. Hey, Agent. You looking to trade? All right, starting off with the military AKM. Swap speed and killer. Black market RPK with damage to armor and vindictive. Tactical SASG with Max Size and Sadist. And then a Officer's M9 with Max, Max Size, and Vindictive. Finish off with the gear items. Petrov Chess Piece with Max Repair Skills, Skill Damage, and Vanguard. That's a very, very interesting combination. Alps Gloves with Repair Skills and Weapon Handling. And then a walker mask with health and explosive resistance. Finish off with the mods. Crit chance 4.4. Headshot damage 6.9. Seeker mind skill haste 4.9. Chem launcher burn strength 6.2. And then sticky bomb skill haste of 4.3. So any must buys from Marco. Um, let's see. If you need it for your recalibration library, this officer's M9 with max max size isn't bad. The Petrov chest piece, um, yeah, I'd pass on that. I mean, yeah, this vendor's not that great this week. I'm just gonna pick up that pistol for uh, that mag size for my recalibration library. I know, I know. Very noob thing to do. Er, hold on, what's up, doggy? Let's interact with a little puppy. How you doing, boy? You doing good? You still wagging your tail? You must be happy. That's good. You haven't touched your food yet, either. Your water bowl looks empty, though. That's okay, little guy. Alright, Roy Benitez. Here we go. How can I help you, Agent? Last vendor of the video. We have the AUG assault rifle version with close and personal and damage to armor. Then we have the Surplus SVD with max damage to armor and eyeless. Military MK-17 with damage to targets out of cover and ignited. And then finally a Police Magnum with optimal range and spike. Move on to the gear items. Gilgard backpack with bloodsucker headshot damage and weapon handling. Overlord Armament Knee Pads with Weapon Handling and Headshot Damage. And then Seska Holster with Crit Damage and Hazard. Now moving on to the mods. Burn Resistance 8.3. Skill Haste 10.2. Turret Health 7.8. Hive Health 7.3. And then Trap Duration of 6.1. Um, any must buys from Roy Benitez? Um, you could easily take this SVD with max damage to armor, reroll the talent, and then just optimize the rest of the attributes. It wouldn't be a bad weapon to use. Um, SVDs are pretty strong, especially if you get damage to armor or damage to targets out of cover. Um, so that's not bad. It's definitely not a must buy, but it's not bad. And then this Seska holster again is not bad but it does have hazard and crit on it so you get crit chance from the brand set bonus it comes with crit damage and hazard so if you run two seska you could get hazard and crit 
on top of your crit chance. I mean, it, it's not bad. Um, not bad at all. Just for example, if you used two of these Seska with the three Eclipse protocol, like I was saying earlier, you'd have over 100% uh, hazard protection just from those five pieces. In fact, you wouldn't even have to run hazard on one of the Seska. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I think I'm talking myself into making another hazard build. But alright, that is Roy Benitez and your vendor reset and must buys for today, Tuesday, June 29th. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.